Yo, what's going on guys? It's Mogul here, and now I'm going to be bringing you guys a video on how to make some basic custom thumbnails for your YouTube videos. Um, even though these are going to be basic thumbnails, they still look pretty decent. And yeah, so I'll just be showing you guys how I make my thumbnails. I hope you guys enjoy. And that being said, let's do this shit. Open up Photoshop. I'm using CS5. If you have CS3, CS4, or CS6, doesn't matter. Any Photoshop does the trick. If you don't have Photoshop, get it. You can buy it or get it for free by looking it up on YouTube. How to get it Photoshop for free. And that being said, open it up. And once you got it open, go up to File New. And this new window should pop up. Uh, make sure the width is at 1280 and it is in pixels, not inches or centimeters, any of that crap. We want pixels. Height. 720 and make sure that's in pixels as well resolution 72 pixels slash inch color mode this is pretty important you want RGB color if it's at CMYK change it because CMYK color that makes the color turn out kind of crappy when you upload it to YouTube so switch it to RGB and then background contents switch that to white and once you got all that press OK and a new project should open up I'm just going to stretch it out a bit so we have some room to work with. And there we go. Perfect. It's looking great. So the first thing you're going to want to do once you have the new document or new project is go over here to the layers. And you'll see there's a layer named background. And there's a little lock next to it. Um, we want to get rid of this lock right here because with it we can't mess with the we can't mess with the background. We can't draw on it or do anything. So to get rid of the lock, you know, to break into this layer, break into this house, you just triple click on it and just press OK. Easy as that. It'll switch to layer zero unless you rename it, but layer zero, and you'll see that the lock's gone. And after you've done that, you're gonna go over here to your colors, and you could pick whatever color you want for this tutorial. I'll pick red and go to like the brightest like the brightest color you can find of whatever color you're picking. For example, I'm doing red, so I'm going to try getting a really bright red. And for the the uh, background color, you're going to want to have the same color but a darker version. So I have red. Uh tip is you can just go over here and click on it so it brings you to the exact same color that you have on the for the uh the front color, the foreground color. And you're just going to take this little guy and drag him down so it's darker. You want to know like that looks great. And once you've gotten that, you got a bright color and then the darker color. You're going to go over here, click on the layer or layer zero or whatever you named it. And go over to this little button right here, click on it and go up to gradient. And then click on gradient and click on this one. Press OK. Style, switch it to, uh, switch it to radial unless you like the other choices but I like radial and switch the scale to 150 percent once you got that press OK so now we got a nice sexy looking background color you know it's got a nice gradient effect nothing really insane but you know it, it looks pretty nice so after you've done that you're gonna want to either add text first or add an image so I'll add text first and to do so you just click on this letter T it's the, the text tool once you've gotten that, you can type whatever you want. For this video, I'm just going to make a thumbnail for Call of Duty, I guess, you know, since that's coming out soon. It's coming out in a couple days. So I'll just do Call of Duty. So Call of Duty. Let me just center this out a bit. Like that. Oh, I spelled Call of Duty wrong. Embarrassing. Uh, let me just fix that. And also, I'm going to change the color of the font. So highlight it all and switch the color of the font to anything that would pop out from the background color so the background color is red we don't want the the text to be red because it won't pop out we want something such as like white that looks pretty decent maybe yellow could do the trick yellow pops out pretty good um blue might blue pops out but for this i'll just pick white because i think that looks the best once you get the color press ok and then um go to the text layer over here right click it go to blending options and now we're gonna make the text look a little bit better a little bit sexier and um, to do so just go down to stroke click check it and you could switch the size of the stroke to whatever you'd like I would say 10 normally does the trick but if the text is smaller um, you might want to stick with 5 
pixels, but 10, I like how 10 looks. Another thing you can do is go over to drop shadow, <clears throat> and um, you can move the distance to about um, about 15, and then spread, you can move that to about 20, and so <clears throat> God, something in my throat right now, but the size to about uh, about 20, um, 21 is good enough. Oh, my bad. And so we got that, the drop shadow. You could also mess with all these other effects. You have the gradient overlay. You can make some, you can make it look pretty cool. In fact, I'm actually gonna add a gradient overlay effect. So check it, go over it here. And now I'm gonna use this gradient one. I think it looks the best. It gives it a nice looking effect. Once you got that, um, once you got all the effects, you can just press okay. And so there you got the text. It looks pretty beast you know you can you could stretch it out if you don't know how to stretch or make the text bigger all you have to do is click on the layer make sure it's highlighted control T and this box will open up and you could just you know stretch it to make it larger so it's easier to see from the distance and press apply and the next thing you're gonna want to do is add an image all right so what I do to add images I just go to Google images and then I search whatever I'm doing whatever my video is gonna be about I search that in the search for example this tutorial it's gonna be a call of duty one so I'll do call of duty alright and then at the end of it put PNG and you should get something like this where it looks like it's like a white background the reason you want this is because the white background is actually going to be transparent which means you'll be able to see right through it and it makes it a lot easier when doing these thumbnails another tip I'm going to tell you guys is when you do the search switch it so it's large images because you'll get the best quality and that's what you want so um I'll, I'll use this image this looks pretty decent I guess this guy looks jacked he looks pissed off that's great he's got a pretty cool tattoo so once you got this right click save image as Come on, my computer is so damn slow. Holy crap, we're probably gonna die by the time it finally opens up that save window. Jesus, All right, there it is. Holy crap, save as. All right, I'm gonna save this to the desktop and I'm gonna name it COD. Uh, the save as type, make sure it's in PNG form. And once you got that, save it. And it should be wherever you saved it. Since I save it to the desktop, it's right here. It's looking awesome. And we're just going to left click and just drag that into Photoshop like this. Boom. Look at that. That looks pretty beast. And yeah, that seems to look pretty awesome. You just got to put it wherever you want it. So, you know, if you're doing like a Halo thumbnail or something, maybe you'll search Halo, Halo Spartan PNG in the search and you'll get something. Maybe you're doing a game like need for speed or something just search need for speed cars png and you should be able to find something like this you know not exactly but so i'm just going to center this so maybe like right here that looks pretty nice and place now you guys can see that there's a watermark right here so what i'm going to do is erase that i have to go over here though first right click and go to rasterize layer uh, the reason I had to do that is if you guys seen there's a little icon or symbol right there. So that's how I knew. I'm just going to go to the eraser tool and just erase this really quickly. And boom, it's gone. So we got something that looks pretty beast. This looks pretty nice. All right, you know, you got the image, you got uh, the text, you know, that cool stuff. Um, the next thing you're going to want to do is maybe add another text saying like commentary or something. So type commentary. Or whatever you want, you know, you don't have to put this. This is just, it's what I'm doing. So, boom. I'm going to shrink it a bit. Like that. And I'm going to change the color. I'll make it so it's like the same color as the Call of Duty text. So, highlight it. We want, we want white. And do the same thing that you did for the, the first text. Right click. Go to blending options. Um, there it is. Go to stroke and put it up to whatever you think looks the best. I would say 10 looks pretty good as well on this. It looks a little thick, but you know, actually, yeah, we'll switch it to like 7. So once you got that, I'm going to go to gradient overlay 
and put the same gradient that I put for the first text. So there it is. And um, you could drop shadow as well, but I'm just going to leave the drop shadow out. And once you got that, press OK. So now we got Call of Duty commentary. That looks pretty beast. You know, it's basic. But um, yeah, so after you've done that, you can add a, a, um, like a glossy looking effect, I guess you can call it. So to do that, it's very easy. Just press Control minus, so you can zoom out a bit. So you got the, you know, you got more room to work with on the outside. And you're gonna want to go to Layer New, New Layer, and press OK. Once you got the new layer, go over here to this tool. It's called like the Marquise tool or something. Elliptical Marquise looks like a circle of dots. And um, yeah, so once you got that, all you have to do is just left click and just drag it and make a circle like that you guys can see that kind of there's a dot line right there and once you got that you're going to go to um, this press this right here so it switches the colors back to black and white and press this reverse button so the whites on top and go to your gradient tool it might show as a paint bucket like it does for me click on that switch it to gradient by left click and holding and you're gonna want to go up here switch it to the this one where it's white turns into the white turns into the transparency of the checkerboards and just hold shift and pull it down and you should get something that looks like that alright and once you got something you like press this button right here this tool the move around tool and press control D and that will stop the the dots from moving around and all that and then you can take layer one and move it to right above the background color which is right here the gradient fill and once you got that you got a nice looking basic thumbnail you know you can do more with it if you want you could learn some effects get some paintbrushes to make it look even more sick you know it's you could do whatever you want but this is pretty much how to make a basic thumbnail nothing really insane but like I said once you know the basics you'll be able to make them better make them look more sick and yeah so anyways guys, I hope this tutorial was easy to follow. I apologize if it was boring. And anyways, thanks for watching. It's Mogold. And as always, I'm out. Peace.